everybody, what's up? My name is Declan Crotty, and today I'm going to be making a video to help people learn tail whips, especially this person. This person has been commenting on one of my videos asking for tail whip tutorials right here and right here. Today I'm going to make one. And yes, I know my wheels do not match in the slightest bit, but there was a kid at the indoor skate park that had the same exact wheels as me, the Envy Gap Cores. So he said that he would trade me his wheels for my wheels. And at first I said no because mine match really well and his were slightly more used than mine. But then he said that if I traded wheels with him, he would also throw in this Root Industries deck right here and a free pair of wheels. They're probably going to break soon anyways because they're used, like I said. But anyways, I'm going to teach you guys how to tail whip now. I've never made a tail whip tutorial video before. I think I've made one short about it, but I've never made a really in-depth video about it. So I'm going to try to help you as much as I possibly can. So anyways, like I said, we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so today we're going to be breaking the tail whip down into three main steps. And those three main steps are going to be the flick, the rotation, and the landing. So the first thing you're going to want to learn is the flick. This is exactly what it sounds like. You're just going to flick the deck with your foot to get that rotation started. And here's a really simple drill that I used a lot when I was first learning tail whips to help me learn the flick. Now this is a really simple drill. All you're going to do is just pick a foot to flick with. Just flick it a few times with each foot, like use your back foot, like that, and just flick it a bunch, foot, and see which one feels easier to flick with. And then once you have that, we're going to do this simple drill, where you just jump and then flick it, and then you kind of just jump off the scooter. And you don't really worry about the rest of the tail, you just focus on that flick. So first I'm going to show you the drill flicking with my back foot. Now some examples of flicking with your back foot. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but flick with my front foot. Really good way to practice flicking it. There are other drills, but that's the drill that I used when I was first learning it. And now we're going to move on to the rotation of the tail whip. If you've ever watched any tail whip tutorials, I'm sure that you've seen people spinning the deck like that to practice the rotation and get it down really well. That's a really good drill, I definitely recommend it. But there's also another really good drill. So this drill is basically just tail whip but without jumping and without flicking it. So basically how you're gonna do is you're gonna stand to the side of your deck and you're gonna lift your scooter up and then you're just gonna do the rotation without flicking it at all. And then you're gonna catch it and get really good at this. Okay, so once you feel comfortable with both this drill and this drill, you can move on to the landing. Okay, so now like I said, we're going to move on to the landing. And for the landing, you can do a similar drill where you do the rotation of the deck and then jump on it. So the next step is the landing, and a really good way to practice the landing is just flick a tail up and then jump on it. So at first you can do it kind of like this, and then jump a little earlier and earlier each time and spin it a little faster and faster each time. So eventually it should look something like this. Okay, so once you have all of those down separately, it's time to start putting them together. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's time for your first tail whip. Wipe the sweat off your hands, grab your grips, give it one good push, bend your knees, jump up, flick the tail whip, get the rotation, and you probably fail. But that's okay. You're not going to land your first tail whip first try. You're going to have to keep trying, and trying, and trying, and trying some more until eventually you land one foot. If you can consistently get your toe with one foot, that's a really good sign. That means you're getting close. So you're just going to have to keep trying and trying and trying until eventually you finally land your first tail whip. And now it's time to celebrate. Well, maybe not that much. And yes, that was a joke. My helmet is right here. I did not throw it on the ground. That was a soccer ball. But congratulations, you have just landed your first toe. Now you gotta get them consistently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something today. And also stay tuned because I'm probably going to be building a kind of custom scooter. I didn't really get to pick out the parts, but I have some parts laying around. So I'm gonna build a scooter out of those. I'm gonna make a video about that either today or tomorrow. So I actually realized I'm missing a headset, so I'm gonna need to order one. So the video is gonna be delayed a little bit, but I'm just gonna get one off Amazon because I don't really care too much about what headset I have.
But anyways, the video is going to be delayed by a few days, but it will still be up shortly. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.